Hi, welcome to my small apartment. So today I will be doing eyeshadow, half cut crease, and I hope you will enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on my Instagram, and give it a thumbs up. Let's do makeup. So now I got you a little closer because I will be doing my eyes. First off, I will be doing wash of colors. I will grab first color and then I will just wash it across whole lid. This is like um, transition shade. So we just want the wash of color and later, later on I will be putting some more eyeshadow. So I will be doing uh, the half cut crease because honestly I don't do so much cut crease, half cut creases because I think that I'm not good enough for them but today we'll see. I love a good crisp uh, half cut crease. So we'll see. Uh, when you do a half cut crease, uh, important thing that you need to do uh, is to put the eyeshadow here. So uh, the most color you need to put here and here because when you will be cutting the half cut crease, you will need to have a crisp edge. So you need the wash of color here. We will blend it later. Is the process now it's just like the wash of the color now I will take the NYX uh, cosmetics 16 brush and I will blend it I will blend the product so we don't have the harsh edge here we have like a wash of color so this is like my first color that I put on the lid and later on I will be continuing to build my shape you can do like round shape, almond shape you can do like extended shape so it extend your eyes I like to do uh, the extended shape so it pulls my eye up so uh, because I think that the round shape on my eyes doesn't look so good so I'm building it especially here and extend it. We will blend this part later on. Okay, now with the smaller brush, this was BH Cosmetics number four. This is BH Cosmetics number five. This is like a little smaller brush. I will take the darker color. This is like the reddish brick color and I will be putting under the transition shade so like here and I will build it as I go as I blend it I will build the color it's not intense yet but as we build it will be because I like to uh, work slow so I can build my shape because you want to have uh, the gradient of color you don't want to have just one color because we need dimension dimension is all that matters so I will pack that darker color that darker color here so we have that dimension and again I will blend it with the NYX brush it's all about, about blending. When you do any type of eyeshadow, you need to blend. You don't want to see that harsh end. And now I'll put even darker color with this brush. This is like, um, it's not that puffy, it's more flat, so it can grab more product. And uh, it's NYX Cosmetics number 13. And I will go grab like brown shade 
step of the axis and I will place it under that brick color we put. I use this brush because I don't want uh, I want that my color, this brown color, will be just on this place so it don't it doesn't go up. So I have more control of it. And now I can put more if I want and if I like it. Also put it here. And in the outer corner, especially here, we want that color to pop. Again, I will use the same brush because this brush doesn't have any product, I just blended it so I can use it. So I can blend this part so it doesn't look so harsh. So what uh, I like to do next is take uh, any makeup wipe and I like to wipe the place where I will put the concealer to cut the crease so we have just like more clean look just a little you see, this is the actress. So I will, have, I will have the crisper look. And now I will take the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline in the color 12. I use this concealer for everything. I will put it on the back of my hand. And I like to take the BH Cosmetics Dumper 7 brush it's flat brush and it's stiff so I can carve my shape with this okay now coat your brush with the concealer from both sides and from the tip coat it so you have nice layer okay and now you see this fold here this is my crease my natural crease but if I want the, my half crease to be visible when I'm looking, I need to go higher than that. So we will go follow my uh, eye and I will go a little higher than this fold. So it will be visible. So let's do this. So I like to use my finger to move the product if I put it too much because I put it too much, too much. I am sorry if this is not perfect I am saying I am not a professional uh, doing half cut creases, but I am here trying and I know that um, there is better YouTubers with the half cut crease, but I'm not, but I'm trying. I like to blend with my finger this end so it's not so harsh at the end it takes time to perfect the cut crease so don't worry just take your time and be patient with the process Now I will blend this outer part with this so we don't have that harsh end.
I will again take this nifty brush. Uh, I will take the brown color and I will put it here. Pack the color on like this and then we'll blend it with this brush. You see now we have the gradient of this is like the soft orange, this is like the brick color and down here we have the brown and the half cut crease. So it's nice radiant of color and I like to leave this area uh, with no eyeshadow because I don't like when my eyebrows are so close to my eyeshadow if that makes any sense. Okay, I have the similar mix brush and you can take like the any white color eyeshadow and you can blend this part so it's not going over your brow. Okay, so now I will use this small brush and I will spray it with the Fix Plus. And I found this color, it's like purplish, silver, and we'll see how it goes. The best way to use these shimmers is with fingers, but I need this end, this edge to be crisp, so I'm doing it with a brush and now I'm gonna use my finger and just pack the color on because I can't be so precise with my finger. Okay, now I need to again make transition from the shimmer into this eyeshadow so it's not that harsh edge again with this brush I will pack the brown color so I decided what I should do on my lower lash line we'll do some it's shimmer and I don't know if it'll work but it's orange, it's bright orange. Okay. Oh my god. So as you blend your eyeshadow on your lid, you should blend your eyeshadow on your lower lash line. Okay, now I will clean up this whole mess. I will try to match the other eye of the camera, put some four eyelashes, Ardell Demi Wisp is my favorite, and I will come here to put eyeliner, a blush and lipstick. So, see you in a bit. You know already that I love blush and that I put a little too much now because later on will fade. I like to look alive. I love blush. With this look, blush is a must. Okay, now I will use the Mega Lighting from Makeup Obsession and I will put some highlighter.
Thank you for watching this tutorial for half cut crease and eyeshadow. See you on the next video. Bye! Save me other thing going to do Going to do Where's a life I Where's my shy head? Is this called living? I don't know What are those? Shut up! <laughs> no, you're filming! No, go away! No people, one can only tell me my pajamas. The people are going to see this. No, go away! <laughs>